welcome back to my channel. I'm Jana and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be about how I took cold showers every single day for three weeks straight, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all why, what differences did I see, and if I'm still going to do it. But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can become a part of the Perfect Week Vlog community where we embrace who we are today while chasing our next. Because we gotta love self first while we're on this infinite journey of self improvement and growth. We just wanna be the best we can be. So if you wanna be a part of that, make sure you subscribe to become a part of the Perfect Good Fall community. Oh, that's out the way. Y'all, let me just tell y'all these cold showers. Let's talk about it. So I took the cold showers for my skin and for my mood. And I saw a lot about cold showers and I was like, let me try it. It's supposed to help my mood. Yeah, it helped. <laughs> it did help in some areas, but let's talk about the process first. So it was so freaking cold. I, honestly, when I was reading up on it, people were like getting used to it, the cold water in like three days. I ain't never get used to it out of my whole three weeks. There wasn't a day. I think there was one day and then the next day it didn't feel like that again. It was super cold. But there was one day where I wasn't used to it, but I was able, I, I realized I was starting to be able to sit under the cold water when I rinse for like seven extra seconds. <laughs> Like, that counts for something, right? No? <laughs> I ain't never get used to that, though. I ain't never get used to it, and I don't know why. Like, they say if you're already cold, that cold showers are just gonna make you colder and harder to warm up. Now, me, I get hot fast and cold fast. So, like, those cold showers, getting out them cold showers, I was just like, you know, I was freezing. <laughs> and we keep it cold in this house. One one day my brother, he had it, he had the temperature in like on like 66. Talk about cold and taking a cold shower on top of that. Mm -mm. I started turning the heat on before I hopped in the shower in the morning. He's like, no, couldn't do it. Mm -mm. But anyways, the first time I did it was like, like I'm talking like getting under that cold water was like it just took my breath away. It was just like Ugh. right. So like that's it. I know like, you know, I'm a little goofy or whatever, but I'm not exaggerating. Like it like snatched my breath. I was like hyperventilating and could not breathe because I was so cold. Then I found myself holding my breath to rinse. So like I developed a system and this is probably why I never got used to the water. I developed a system, you know, getting the water, getting the shower, get a little wet, lather my washcloth, wash it, wash it, wash. And then when I'm ready to rinse, it's, Slip this arm in, rinse, slip this arm in, rinse, rinse this leg, rinse this leg, and then get my back and everything else real quick, and then start the process all over again, right? I'm not sliding up the seat, right? So that's, that's how it went. So maybe that's why, because I never stood under the cold water, don't care, but it still helped. <laughs> Nevertheless, it still helped. Like, and this is how it helped me. So, so what the cold water is supposed to do, it's supposed to wake you up in the morning. You're supposed to, and it's supposed to be like healthier for your skin because like hot water dries it out and whatnot. And then those benefits can lead to, especially the ones where like wake you up, can lead to you just like increasing your like mental strength and being more productive and not being as sleepy throughout the day. Those are some of the um, like indirect benefits, I guess I could call it indirect. They're tied to the other benefits, like the waking up. So personally, it did wake me up, uh, honestly. Like when I first got, get out, got out the bed, like I'm like dragging. But once I hit that cold shower after it, it, I got like this burst of energy, like for the next couple of hours, I was great. Now, if I had a good night's sleep for the whole day, I was straight pretty much, unless there was a time where I was at, Unless there was a time where I was at work and I was just like, like just like bored. That's the only time I really got sleepy. But yeah, I was just, you know, I was going and I was straight, you know? And with my skin, I felt like my skin like 
glowing more like it just looked better and it wasn't as dry but some of the things that i did notice when taking those cold showers it's harder to rinse thoroughly on top of me having hard water here with all the minerals and stuff it's already hard to rinse stuff off apparently but with the cold water is extremely hard right extremely hard and like one time I got out the shower after like I rinsed and whatnot and I still saw like soap in some places and I was just like it was gone so it just takes more to clean yourself in cold water than it does in hot water so I would say that's a con I feel like there's more pros to cons that's a con there's another con too after you work out and then if you hop right into a cold shower you'll keep sweating so the shower isn't helping so that's another con but other than that i didn't see any con oh and it being super cold and you have to like focus but because it was so cold i cut down significantly on my shower time because in the hot shower i just stand there for a good portion of time y'all don't judge me i waste so much water and i want to do better i want to be more intentional i want to be more like eco-friendly with a lot of things that i'm doing and i'm making little changes in my life i got a change here not quite there yet with the hot showers but with the cold showers i got it on lock my showers are not nearly as long as the ones in the hot as long as my hot showers so that's good right i mean right no no yes yes no that's a pro because i'm so cold i don't want to be in there that long i also implemented it because i washed my face in the sink after and i would like wash with hot water but rinse with cold water so i implemented it with my skincare regimen and i feel like i don't really know if i've seen a difference to be honest i did feel like my skin was more glowy but i also think that was due to me just being consistent with my skincare regimen i don't know if there was a difference much of a difference there but it felt good i still shower with cold water in the morning i still rinse my face in the morning with cold water now when i take showers at night they're hot showers because i just don't want to be kept up um but there's a there's a clear difference as like how like moisturized my skin is i don't know about my face because i'm i'm always moisturizing but with my body i can be really lazy but there's definitely a difference with like my skin like after i get out that hot shower my skin's like bruh like you need to just some moisturizer on there and and with cold showers it's not like that but i moisturize anyways so yeah i still do it i also feel like it's helped me like mentally so like because it's such a hard task and i have to put my mind to it yes to me it's a hard task and i have to put my mind to it like I think that's translating to other areas of my life. Like when I do things, I'm like, all right, Johnny, you just gotta do it, get it over with, and let that be it. It's not always that simple, but I feel like taking those cold showers, because I have to do that, I just have to get it done. It's helping me get other stuff done. So I think it's really been beneficial there. But yes, I like it. I think it's very beneficial for your mood. And it seems like it is for my skin and my body. Don't really know the difference on my face. Don't see it. I don't think it's attributed to the cold shower so yes do cold showers i think y'all should try for yourself it's something i'm gonna continue to incorporate it's something i i can't say i love it because it's cold <laughs> but it's something that i'm benefiting from so i need to keep doing it now because i am i'm not being as strict about it i have skipped that cold shower especially the days i'm running late which sounds like it doesn't make sense right i'm running late so why take the hot shower when I typically prolong that time over the cold shower, which I usually keep short. Well, because I just don't feel like dealing with the mental battle in the shower when I'm getting in the cold water. But I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna just do it. There was a couple of times where I was like, why did I just get in the cold shower? And I did. And I benefited from it. <laughs> like I was up, I was ready to go. I was like, but anyways, so yes try it do cold showers in the morning y'all like it will change your life it'll change your life and you know i thought it would help with you know just regular daily sweat but it doesn't because i sweat a little more than usual than normal people sweat i guess but it doesn't help with that at least it didn't help me with that people say it helps with that 
you know, and it could have helped like prolong the period of time where I'm not sweating. Maybe it did there, don't know, but yeah. So definitely do it. I think you should do it. I think you should do it simply because even if it's not for skin, simply because it helps you move, it wakes you up in the morning, especially if you're like one of those slow starters like me, by all means, do it. And if it's for skin, try it and see how it works for your skin. Just make sure you wash, wash thoroughly. I did not try it on my hair. My hair is high porosity. I'm not gonna be able to get any moisture in it if I put cold water in my hair. It's gonna be really hard. So no need for me to do that. But I have, I used to rinse with cold water and I might start doing that again to close the, no, because then I need a deep conditioner. Oh no, here's the thing. I do rinse out my deep conditioner with cold water though. I do that and that seems to be really beneficial for my hair so it is harder to rinse out the conditioner however but it seems to help a lot that's what i have for you guys just want to tell you guys about those benefits that i've gotten from cold showers how i'm going to continue to do it and i think you guys should do it too if you have anything else you want me to try because i really want to start trying more like challenges similar to that like cold showers for this period of time me it's probably going to be like seven day periods or you know but definitely drop them down i'm definitely going to be i'm definitely going to be trying you guys suggestions i got a few suggestions for skin and i'm really excited to try it out and yeah all right thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe so you become a part of the perfectly flawed community make sure you follow me on instagram at and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I interrupt this program to let you know you need to watch this video because it is amazing. And subscribe to my channel and see more of this beautiful face. I'm just kidding. So you can become a part of our journey together on being a healthy version of ourselves. All right.